Okay, what's going on guys? So I did mention, um, I believe last night in one of my streams, I that I did want to start making some videos again. And the main video that I really wanted to produce was something about GTA 5. Now, in the beginning, I will want to say this. I do apologize if the wording or whatever it is that you guys are seeing on screen is very small. As you guys do know, I have a 4K monitor. So it kind of like, you know, it really makes things small. So I do apologize for that. In the beginning now something I want to do talk about as this was just kind of released I believe either yesterday or the day before or a couple days ago April 30th now open IV is something that us PC users use to mod games like GTA 5 GTA 4 and also you know I believe Max Payne 3 so we use this for modding these games like we put in our graphics mods some of them our car mods and whatnot etc we use this but recently there was an update that actually went ahead and you know gave us some new options as you guys may be able to see right here not too sure if you guys could but it says playstation 4 support now i will be leaving the link to this video right here down in the description if you guys want to go check it out it has everything in it that you know that should be covered i'm just kind of doing like a small rundown on what this is i also want to say i do apologize for any background noise as it is a bit windy and i'm not too sure my mic is picking it up at whatnot um and some dogs barking and whatever that is my neighbors i can't really control it but um to continue so right here in this picture i can't really make it full screen but it, what it does normally do is well, what it says is it'll normally say windows xbox 360 and ps3 but within this new update we just got we got a new option that says ps4 which kind of starts hinting at ps4 modding in a way so you scroll down a little bit. I'm, I don't really feel like reading it as, you know, it's nothing really needed. But I'll go ahead and, you know, skim through some of the, you know, readings. Um, so right here, this picture, the second one. Now this one is a picture that actually is actually in the video. The guy's actually showing it off. But this person actually goes into the PS4 files of GTA 5. So that person either has the, you know, PS4 copy of the game on an external hard drive, possibly not too sure how it works, but I will be dabbling in on this um, very, very soon. But they went into the GTA 5 files of the PS4 version of the game and they have it on PC and they're going through it right here. And then this is uh, something that was just added in as well, which is vehicle animations. Pretty much, you know, if a car is a convertible, you know, it'll show the animation of a, you know, car converting from, you know, with the roof to without the roof. So that is something that is awesome. I actually don't really know why that was needed, but it's a nice touch to the application. Um, and then this one right here is about textures, I believe. No, 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 this is audio. So this one allows you to, you know, affect audio playback. So it's kind of like an audio player. Or if you want to use it for cutscenes within the game, you can go ahead and edit that within you know this portion of the options right here but to kind of like go through um it's kind of going to say right here uh, we are happy to announce new platform support for grand theft auto 5 please welcome playstation 4 orbis not too sure what that means but i'm going to dabble in it um so i'm going to look into it and then i'm going to get you guys some more information but do go to this video if you guys watch this video do go to this video i'll be linking it in the description because it'll cover it way better than what i could do so on um, what to continue it says we never actually thought this would be possible but files for ps4 version of gta 5 are available so why not that kind of hints off already ps4 modding coming very soon now once that does come out for like online stuff like mod menus online modded lobbies modded you know all that stuff i'll be covering that as soon as i get word and actually start doing that which should be coming up pretty soon i know a lot of people have been saying oh it's coming very soon but that's like ages ago but with this coming out it's kind of feeling like it's actually coming a bit sooner than we actually all hope or expect so that's kind of making me a bit happy and then also right here it says as always in the beginning of of the support for new games and platforms uh, not all open iv features are available as for now we have basic support for archives textures models collision bounds of meshes and audio files which is pretty much like the basics so if you guys um know what textures are the models like the cars and you know all the player uh, characters um and all that stuff that is pretty much what they're explaining like you can edit all that stuff as of right now but they're coming out with more things you know in the future so it's saying that you can open all those files in inbuilt 
OpenIV tools. Um, there's no open format exporting or editing capabilities, meaning if you ever wanted to edit something fully, like that's not compatible with the application, you have to export the files to go ahead and edit them in the you know external software that you need to edit them in and then put them back in to OpenIV. Um, since PS4 has some specifics in Rage 5V resources, please consider this as beta. Everybody should know this is a very new option. There should be no reason why anybody would consider this a fully, you know, final, you know, product here. So beta is something that is very reasonable to be calling it and report any issues you may encounter. That's that should be already known. Um, common at least. Uh, please do not expect same level of feature support as we have for PC versions. PC, you could do a lot. PC, you can pretty much edit the whole game, but, you know, starting off with a PS4, you know, thing like this, that we can actually do what we do on PC, just a small touch of it, being able to do that on a PS4 is already good enough. Like, I, I already know I'm going to have to go out and buy me a whole new PS4 to have one doing all this stuff and then one just to run legit. So I already know I'm going to do this. I'm going to start, you know, getting into doing some of this stuff already. Like, without a doubt, I'm doing this. So, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys and get this out there. You know, tell you guys that PS4 modding, at least single player, and being able to mess around with some of the stuff in GTA 5 is going to be very capable. Now, I'm going to start looking into this very soon, actually. I'll probably release this video tonight, so you guys will probably see this maybe early tomorrow morning, depending on what time. It's actually 4.45 right now, p.m., as you guys are uh, watching this. Um, So, I just have to go ahead and start doing this. Now... Um, also, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that I will be pushing out more streams and more videos coming very soon. Um, I've just been bothered with a lot of school work that I just really need to get done. Now, I have a lot of work to do. I just, you know, that's the only thing really holding me back as far as all this extra, you know, work and, you know, streams that I haven't been doing. I've been pushing out a little here and there, but I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I'm just trying to get this work done. You know, I'm getting piled up as it is the end of the school year, trying to make sure I get on top of it and, you know, just pass, you know. So, that's just a little thing. Also, uh, going to end off the video here in just a second. I just need to make sure that um, you guys know that, you know, we're going to be pushing out more stuff, man. We're going to be pushing out a lot more. Also, Fortnite. Going to be start, you know, gonna start doing some Fortnite, just to let you guys know. Um, so, yeah. Now to end off this video, I'm going to go ahead and say shout out to Mr. LV because I'm starting to, you know, I'm starting this off and I started watching this and I, then I started recording the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now. Shout out to Mr. LV, guys. He's doing some Rainbow Six right now. We're catching it live. Little sneak peek of what he got. I got to only, only, you know, play like a 20 second capture of this because I don't want to get copyrighted from him. So go sub to this dude. He's at, right now he's at... 6.1 we're gonna get him to 6.2 real quick so go ahead i'm gonna drop a link to his channel down in the description i'm also gonna go ahead and drop the link to this video in the description make sure you guys check it out because it's gonna give you a full rundown it's gonna run you every you know through everything i pretty much tried to explain but you know i just wanted to push this out there because my channel is a modding channel and i feel like you know this is actually something that relates to my channel as it is based off of modding something i do best and something everybody knows me for so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys off with that and with that said it's when your boy was said, I'm out. Peace, man.